What kind of pants are you wearing? Uh, well, like underwear or jeans? Or... I just like underwear. I'm intrigued. I don't know. Generic underwear. You're not making eye contact with me. Generic underwear. Oh, God, no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> That's just weird. Well, this has been me interviewing Tom Selig about what pants he's wearing. So On the casting couch. On the casting couch, which is f***ing relaxing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is. Hello, my name is Frazier Campervan, and welcome to Bullhacks 2018. It's finally here. The moment when nerds get to come out of their shells and slap the flaccid penis that is the cool agenda. Strap in, strap on. It's going to be a sexual steamy ride. so much. Are we able to get an interview? This is Tom Selig, the president of Hacks and Computing yeah, Society. So we're going for lunch now. Cut. What a f***ing surprise. What a f***ing surprise. I'm going to get a restraining order against you. Yeah. So how are you finding the hackathon? Good, I'm organising it. Are you? What are you doing? Organising it. So what are we, what's on the menu today? Food. Hello, you beautiful people. So it's come to that time of the day. We finished lunch, and uh, yeah, it's time to go and interview some people. Let's roll out. It's supposed to be people around. Uh, okay. Um. Well, obviously, we're a bit early, or a bit late. Um, I just want to cut there, you know, let's just, let's cut that. I am here with Tom Selig, the president of Hacks and Computing Society, and also the organizer of Ball Hacks, or one of the organizers of Ball Hacks. Hello, Tom. Lead organizer of Ball Hacks, Hackathon and Computing Society. Oh, uh, okay. Prick. What was it like organizing the event, and how stressful was it? I don't think it's a while that I can describe how stressful it is, but it's worth it. Yeah. It's definitely worth it. Um, the way you said it made it seem like you didn't believe it. What, believe how stressful it is? Be honest, it's quite hard. Well, well, no, believe that it was worth it when it actually came around. Oh, well, yeah, it's always worth it. Yeah. Oh, you smell amazing. What aftershave do you use? It's Nivea or something. I don't, I don't know, to be honest. Just something Nivea. The modesty is seeping through here. Why are hackathons still relevant, especially in today's society, when we're yeah. moving more towards computers and the digital age? Why do we need hackathons, Tom? Why are we here? Hackathons are about... Gen well, generally, are about computers in the digital age. 
You get a bunch of people together, make software programs or hardware programs. Oh. Yeah. Film student, let me just point that out there. I understand it's hard to spot the laptop every five centimeters, you know. Yeah, no, it is a bit of a challenge, especially with my eyesight. Mm. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go way back a year. Okay. To Bullhacks 2017. Now, we did the promo for 2017 as well. Yes. And considering how bad the actual filming of that went, why did you ask us back? Could you just not find anyone else? Pretty much. Okay. I thought you were going to say, no, you guys did an amazing job. No, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm here with Christopher Wilkins, and we're going to be talking through some VR. My name's Aaron. Is it? <laughs> I'm here with... Aaron. What's your surname? Theo Watton. I'm here with Aaron, and we're going to be talking about some VR and where VR is going in the computing industry. So talk about what you're working on. What are you working on? Uh, right. So right now I'm trying to just implement some VR in a game my friend made. So mm -hmm. he made a game where some really sexy dinosaurs walk onto the stage. So they have like, I guess they're not actual dinosaurs. If you imagine... Like, I am liking this already. If you imagine a body, like a really ripped body mm -hmm. with then an actual dinosaur for a head and then them all dancing to the song... I'm so sexy. Okay. Yeah. Where, where did you come up with the inspiration for this? Uh, so my friend Ryan um, had a connect and got some like motion tracking footage of people dancing and thought, I can make something fun out of this. And there was a prize for the best dinosaur themed hack. So he made that. Now in terms of VR in general, now I know you were talking about like VR fleshlights. Is that correct? Uh, right, yeah. So a common issue with uh, certain devices that have been released is that we are creating Internet of Things devices for a lot of things, but one thing is a Internet of Things enabled flashlight, and the issue with that is you've got <laughs> you've got an extremely hackable. <laughs> it's it's okay. Take 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 your time. Take your time. We get into the end of this story. You are going to see scenarios where people are going to want to basically get a flashlight that's synced up to a video mm. and is going to just do exactly what's on camera so yeah. to add an extra sense of realism. But the real issue here is, is Internet of Things devices are often like somewhat poorly constructed and easily hackable, meaning you've essentially just attached a great big Internet of Things enabled device to your cock that, <laughs> that, someone, could, that someone could just control. Now, in terms of... Bullhacks 2018. How does it compare to the last Bullhacks? So to be honest, I've always been a big fan of Bullhacks. But... <laughs> I've always been a... It's, it's just, just take a moment. Just take a moment. Let's get back to the reason that we're really here. So Bullhacks 2018. How does it compare to the initial Bullhacks of last year? 2017, I believe it was. I've always been a big fan of bull sex, but the issue is I'm actually... Well, there's no issue, sorry. The actual state of affairs is I'm really just very invested in this community and I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. Um, got old faces, new faces, got a lot of interesting projects. Yeah. Really seeing a lot of local businesses get invested and want to get involved. I think I asked you this last year, but like, for like a lot of people, the motivation of coming to a hackathon is free food. That was my motivation this year. I think it was like 50% of the reason I came. Yeah. I'm still figuring out the other 50%. So is, is that like a big motivator for you? Do you turn up to a hackathon expecting like pizza and shit? Well, at this hackathon, they're serving more rice than pizza, but yeah. you know. It's weird, the menu here. I don't understand it really. Well, you know, I think they just made do. So they've got a local pub and, I mean, pub, pub grub's great. So they've got a local pub. Last year though, they did have midnight pizza. So got to give them props for that. Can you not talk while I'm interviewing the Thank you.